And that's true for our internal combustion engine too. Torque doesn't just being produced magically by the engine. No, it gets a while to produce this torque. At first, piston in the cylinder goes down and sucks the fuel and air mixture in the cylinder through the intake valves. Then valve closes and piston goes up, compressing the mixture. And only then the mixture goes kaboom and pushes the piston down again. And that's not the end. After that we have to open the exhaust valves and push the exhaust gas out. As you can see, torque on the crank of the engine is created by the force of the expanding gas acting through the piston and the con rod. And this torque is created not continuously all the time, but only during the combustion cycle. Once in four cycles, or every two rotations of the crank. This means that we have to consider not only the torque, but also the engine RPM. 